to Squishy on Makeover, the show where we turn absolutely adorable, cute squishies into creatures of darkness that are deep within my soul's imagination. And yes, for those of you who have been asking, this is Pickle the Dinosaur Plushie from Mariah Elizabeth. Pickle, do you want to come say hi? I didn't think so. All right, now that we have Pickle back in his place, don't ever do that to me again, Pickle. You stay there. I said stay! <sighs> when will he listen? And so today for Squishy Unmakeover, which is the opposite of Mariah Elizabeth's Squishy Makeover, where she takes destroyed squishies and turns them into works of art, on this channel, we destroy them! We have three, well, three and a half candidates. And here they are. Approximately 10 hours later. That's good. Just to be clear, all of these squishies have been sent to me by Ugrains. I have yet to buy many squishies for myself. I had quite a bit of smushy mushies, but I've run out. And so today we have a really nicely painted and shaded watermelon, which is pretty neat. And one of Ugrains, when I posted a picture of this on my Patreon and my membership, suggested that it would be really cool to have it as a crab. I don't know if I'm gonna go there, but I guess we'll see. Next we have this really awkward sitting sloth. Um, who are you calling awkward? I said you're awkward. Just live with it. I feel like nothing really sits like that. Even though the sloth itself is kind of cute, I feel like it's just nonsensical. So we're gonna have to level this thing up. And then this one, which is one of my favorites, is a smushy mushy. Let's rewind to the previous smushy mushy baby that I had. And as you can see from this clip, I did take a cute little baby squishy and turned it into a cannibalistic creature. What you gonna do? That's, that's, that's just how we roll here. We work with creatures in darkness. I can't help you. And again, this was sent to me by one of you grains because you're curious what I can turn it into. And here's the baby. At first I was like, is this baby Nikki? And the answer is no, it is not Nikki. Nick, 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 Nikki. I don't want to say the other word because I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> it has a diaper, is what I'm trying to say. And the reason why I said three and a half is because it comes with a companion unicorn. Baby's got a friend. By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. This has become our thing. At first it might seem scary, but you will grow to love it. Our first victim today is this wonderful watermelon. Part of me feels really guilty because I love watermelons and this one is nicely done. But you know in this channel, we're not about nice, we're about the salt. And it still has the tag. Even though this squishy was from the Dollar Tree, it really does offer a very nice squish. It's not the most slow rising, but heck. It's all right. And so, as usual, as a good start, it's usually suggested that we prep our surface. And since this one is pretty it's slick, the surface is pretty slick, I decided to go ahead and use a sandpaper just to make sure that once we get to painting, it's not going to give me a pain in the butt and not stick on it. And to be honest, I think I really like the crab idea. Help me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom part a little bit more because for a crab, the shell just felt a little too circular on top. So I had to make it a little flatter, just a little closer to the ground. And now for the claws, I'm going to be using this popsicle squishy that's poorly decorated. That's not my fault. If you remember, in one of my previous review videos of this squishy, we pretty much tested out whether or not this was worth it. I'll link it down below if you're interested to watch after this video. To admit this is a really awkward shape to try and get rounded up but we're, we're gonna do it we're just gonna keep going and removing tiny little specks here and there uh... 
Well, hello there, pizza cake, I guess. Let's turn you into the legs. If anyone tells you squishy making is a clean craft, the answer is no. Look at this. And now we pretty much have to take our fabric tack glue and put all the limbs together. That's going to make sure that they don't wibble wobble all the way around. Then we're going to take our 3D fabric paint and put our first layer to make sure that we cover those foamy parts. <laughs> One of the biggest mysteries of my crafting career, why the heck do I insist on making so many limbs all the time? But you know what time it's for now? all the different kinds of species of crabs there were, there were so many different colors, but I think I'm going to stick to classic red, even though I really like this brown and orange one. It's really cute, I love the aesthetic, but I figured red with maybe a brown bottom could also still be cute and still look salty. As you're seeing me paint this little buddy, let me know what name should we give it. It comes from a watermelon and it's a crab. What perfect combination of name could we give it? Let me know in the comment section below. little crabby melon squishy. As you can see from the before and after, it went really from just a melon to a crab. So thank you so much, my little grain, for suggesting it. Here is our crab squish test and... Ooh, that is pretty satisfying. I like that. I know it looks very simple, but I promise you, I don't know why, why I keep making so many limbs. I love the simplicity of this design, but I have to admit one of the things I am really not good at yet is being able to make very, what's the word? Even, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> making really even smooth surfaces. I don't know if it's the paint I'm using or just my skill that isn't there yet. So if you have any advice, please let me know. Also, while you're there, remember we need a name for this melon crab. crab -lin? I don't know, I, you, you do it, you do it. Also, as a reminder, because in the future, maybe we'll forget that it was made out of a melon. I really did keep the bottom part as a melon, because you never know. You never know if we forget. And little crabby buddy, we never want to forget where you came from. Because when you forget where you come from, you lose where you're going. Salty wisdom. Our next victim? Wait, I mean unmakeover. Why are they my victims? Burp. Why? Why are you even upside down? For those of you who don't know, this is my scruffy chicken, Angel, right? And he, whoa! He loves to do hits. And sometimes he runs, right? He knows it. He is the Ben! On my soul. Actually, I love him very much. He is a rescue and I love him no matter what. But don't tell him that because he gets a little too full of himself. <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. I'm a person and I have <laughs> fillings. And those fillings are made of salt. Why are you upside down? What are you doing? <laughs> don't you dare do a hit and run, okay? Because I'm busy. I have a show to film right here. chicken butt. <laughs> now, even though this is a squishy unmakeover, there are a lot of things wrong with this absolutely brand new squishy, again, from the Dollar Tree. You're very agreeable. Is that firstly, already part of the foam is starting to separate, and the nose is crooked. Whoever did the paint job, obviously a machine, off-centered the nose. You heard me, the nose is off-centered. If you look at the bump over here, this is the center point of the bump. I'm not done talking though. That was rude. But as you can see, the nose actually starts over there on the other side. 
And one of the things I really want to try with this specific squishy are these new paints. That was a hit and run! Why'd you do it? So casual, too. This here is a metallic gold paint that promises to be flexible, formulated to be soft and flexible on fabrics. And then there's this pearlescent violet. So I feel like whatever design I'm going to do will be heavily influenced by being able to use these two. So maybe we can make a snake. That would be cool. Right, Bear? He's still rude. Oi! Why'd you do that? I just realized I may have been too rough and removed the tag just a little aggressively. So the first thing we're going to be doing is turning this one animal sloth into two different animals. And not just that, but it's going to be getting a species change. Aww. Going from sloth, and we're giving it cute little round ears on top. Can you guess what animal it is? And since the sides are a little too uneven, I'm trimming off the edges. And now for the second animal. As I mentioned, these paints, the gold and the, 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 the purple, wow, I couldn't remember it, really inspire me to do a snake. I'm not sure why, but I really do want to. So where those weird arms and legs are kind of folding, uh, trust me, they're weird, let's look at them again, it's going to be the coiling of a snake. But of course we need to bulk it up a little because the head is inexistent. Time I used a slick paint instead of a 3D paint to hopefully get a smoother surface on the snake. And once that's done, again, my favorite part. And so our sloth is going to be transformed into, drum roll please, a bear. And even though I could have gone for polar bear or a black bear, I decided to go with a classic grizzly or brown bear look because I like, I love my browns. I don't just like them, I love them. And to get this brown just right, it had to be a little bit on the yellow side. Oh no, this is gonna take forever. No. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. In order to get a bit more of an opaque color, I'm going to add a little bit of the white fabric paint into the brown. Hopefully that's going to give us less of a transparent color. Ooh, a little better, but we're in this for a while. second half is entirely the snake. And that's where I decided the snake is going to be purple. But not just any purple, this pearlescent violet. Cause I'm, I want, I want a shiny squishy for once. there but I'm a little bothered that this here is pretty flat so I'm going to take the 3d fabric paint and try to make a little bit of an outline around the whole thing just kind of to define those separations a little more is it gonna be a mistake I don't know please don't be a mistake please don't be a mistake please don't be a mistake oh and I decided to change the muzzle into a lighter color because it just wasn't sticking out and then I gave it a little bit of a chest coloration because something was missing Here 
here is our sloth transformation. I don't know if it's better, but I have to admit that bear's petrified face definitely makes my dick because the snake is a creature of darkness. Actually, I really love reptiles. I think the biggest regret for me with this piece is not making the entire length of the snake with foam. I really thought the bumps and lumps on there would naturally be okay. But alas, sometimes I am wrong. Actually, more often, I am quite wrong. Here is our snake bear squish test and... <laughs> it's not exactly slow rising, but... It's not bad, and I'm surprised that this paint is actually really flexible and very soft. Very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! If you have a name for this little fella, let me know in the comment section below. And now we have Baby and Unicorn Duo. I'll stop complaining. <laughs> You too, unicorn. And even though this duo is absolutely adorable, normally human type squishies are pretty freaky. But these ones by Smushy Mushy, I have to admit, are pretty cute. But not for long! Why you might ask? Cause it's in my hands now. And we know when things go in my hand, they become absolute creatures of darkness. <laughs> As you can see from the squishing, the baby squishy is actually really, really slow rising. But the unicorn companion is pretty meh. It's just a piece of foam with no slow risingness at all. Alright, so bear with me here. This is probably going to be one of the darkest squishies I've done. The idea of this particular baby squishy is that it's wearing a hoodie of a unicorn. What I want to do... Look at me. We're gonna switch the roles. We're gonna pretend that the hoodie is, um... <laughs> Let's do the doing. And so the first thing we're going to be doing is removing every unnecessary bit so that we can switch the roles around. In this case, we need to have human ears on the hoodie itself. And for the unicorn ears themselves, I want them to feel like they belong to the unicorn, but that they're sticking out of the hoodie, so I'm making a little bit of an indent. This is going to be very heavily modified, but at the same time, I still want it to look pretty true to what it currently looks like. So I closed off any parts that might look like toes so that they can become hooves. But then I realized I forgot to put the tail. So let's do the tail. And as usual, I'm going to be taking a piece of foam, cutting out into the shape, gluing it on, putting some of that puffy paint, and then waiting a couple of hours. So while our first coat of flesh-colored paint is drying, let's work on the tiny unicorn companion that comes with this baby. But now it's a baby unicorn. And I'm really curious, I have this spray paint that says silver, I want to use it. So I want the whole thing, this little unicorn buddy, to be silver. And of course we're good, we're, and of course, I mean, we're gonna give it other colors. English, cooperate, please. Oh, that's weird. So it is shimmery, but... I think it's like an overcoat. All right, so it's definitely an overlay. So let's go ahead and put a black spray paint and then silver on top of it. I'm sure that's going to look way better. Oh no, come back. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, what a mess. <laughs> And so the idea I have behind this specific squishy is you know how here we wear 
animal onesies. I haven't seen a human onesie, but if you do, make sure you tag me, I'm really curious. Well, in this world, humans are the animals, and unicorns are the people. So it's wearing a onesie person. And much like kids have dolls of other people, the companion is going to be just simplified kind of doll for this unicorn baby. Creepy? Probably. But you signed up for this. Unicorn reversal. So instead of a the the unicorn being the the the, the thing, what's it called? Onesie. <laughs> so instead of the unicorn being the onesie, we have a human being the onesie and the unicorn actually being the baby. It's a lot cuter than I envisioned it initially, but I actually really like it. And as you can see, its companion is a dark unicorn doll, cause it's cute. And maybe this universe is actually pretty dark anyway. Squish test on the unicorn baby, and ooh, that is pretty satisfying. I love all the little bits and pieces, the ears, the horn. Look at that. Oh my god, it's pretty slow. Oh, I love it. And the squish test on the companion is still pretty meh. Nothing special about it. What name should we give this little baby unicorn? Again, let me know in the comment section below. So here are all four transformations for today. Our watermelon crab, bear wrapped in a snake, and unicorns. Which one is your favorite? I would have to say my favorite is probably the unicorn. And I feel like a lot of the painting job that I could improve on probably has to do with the fact that my brushes are getting pretty old, so I need new brushes but all the stores are closed. And it's hard to know quality of brushes online. This week's shoutouts go to Silent Creative Artist, 99 Mandy Rose, RH Brockner, Ishana Sundaro, Shristi Kushi Vlogs, Ice Cream Vloggers, Lene Lemmer. Remember, if you want a shout out, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag Nerdycrafter on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anytime with any of your creations. If you want to watch the previous Squishy Unmakeover, make sure you check up here, and if you want to watch a salty review, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.